I'm Mac Agnan. I'm an artist. I'm basically a maker of objects obsessed with material, light, perception. An artist seems to capture that the simplest. I think there should be a multifunctional word for crafts, design, and art because this all comes together. Making wine really is a mix of art and science and how you bring out this beauty that's sort of hidden in these natural materials. I think the most important thing in my work is materiality that encompasses how materials make us feel, the resonance of color, the frequency of light, and how we relate to objects in space. It's really essential that you engage with it and you move around it, live with it. It's not just about making plates, it's about how you eat from them every day. And even if there's just a strawberry coming in there, it's the respect, respect for craftsmanship. I have to admit, when I saw the glass first time, I said, oh my gosh, hopefully the glass blower was not drunk. <laughs> but exactly that is what I love now about the glass. You know, sometimes it's hard to, to mix the new rules with old traditions, but the, the material for the glass has been the same for hundreds of years but you can create something completely new and different out of that. Very recently, some professional magazine asked me, Chef, what would be the next trend in cuisine? Maybe I'm wrong, but I would like to go more into the basics for the understanding of the origin of the ingredients. In the former days, they called it a white gold. Where can you find such a beauty, but also such a strength? and then creating pieces out of that, this is something that touches you. There's a performance aspect to material and then there's a, an emotional aspect to material. And I think they, they're woven into our lives in a way that we're not always conscious of. It's not the pure perfection always that makes you f fall in love. To me, it's sort of the promise of the experience that you're about to have and I think that champagne can make moments more memorable. We can really touch the senses. You know, why do people love sunsets? Is it the color of light hitting our eyes? Is it that awe? Like, why is that something that moves people? There are moments in my studio when I see that play of shadow in time, and it makes me go, whoa. That's why I'm doing this.